Okay, today we are going to make some raw superfood applesauce. I'm going to show you some of the ingredients here. Um, first of all, apples and things are in the freezer. I'll show you that in just a minute. But uh, we put like to put goji berries in it, dried goji berries. Uh, they are just packed with nutrition, very very high um, nutrient, you know, dense food. Really really good. <clears throat> we also like to put some golden berries. Another superfood. <clears throat> we like cranberries, dried cranberries. We keep our stuff in glass jars, of course, better than plastic. And then we also like to put in some camu camu berry, dried camu camu berry powder, very high in vitamin C. Uh, really, really good stuff. Um, the neat thing about this recipe is you can just kind of go with what tastes, what you know, tastes you prefer. You can also put in some um, maca root powder. You don't have to zoom in on these, I'm just kind of kind of go through them quickly. If you want it to be a little bit more spicy, you could put in some turmeric. Uh, add a little bit of black pepper whenever you use turmeric because it <clears throat> that really um, kind of activates the, the medicinal qualities of turmeric. If you want a little bit of a chocolate flavor, cacao powder, also very good. Um, you could add something like some banana, if you would like a little bit of banana flavor to it. The, the point is there's a lot of things that you can use. So we're going to need a, a kind of a powerful blender for doing this because the apples are frozen and the berries are frozen, which I'll be showing you here in just a little bit. But um, so what you do is you just put in some, these are a little bit dried in there, so you know, put in a good amount. Again, it's, this is all to taste. There's no measurements here that are very important. Um, you have to have a taste tester here as well. There you go. So um, <clears throat> let's put in some golden berries. Don't put in a whole lot of those. They're they're a little bit more sour. But the idea is again with any kind of a recipe like this stuff that we use, you can do your own thing. But we we like to make sure that we're getting a lot of superfoods into a recipe um, because of the health benefits. There's a lot of health benefits to this. So um, now for the Camu Camu powder, what we do is I like to put about a tablespoon in, a heaping tablespoon. These spoons that we have are essentially a tablespoon. So I don't, that's why I'm not using measuring spoons because they work pretty good. About like that. You just dump it right in there. Again, there's a lot of different superfoods that you can use. Um, you can put some shredded coconut in it or, or whatever else you want as well. Here we have some local raw honey. Okay, important to get local raw honey. Don't get raw honey from other parts of the country or world or whatever else. It's local to your area. Okay, and this is very special stuff. This is actually raspberry raw honey. Oh boy. Okay, it's in other words it's it's not raspberry flavored, it's that they the bees will pollinate raspberry plants. And so it has actually interestingly kind of a unique flavor to it. So and this here, honey does not go bad excuse me, honey will crystallize like this. Now you can heat it up, but if you heat it up too much then you're killing the, the raw qualities of it. But if you have it kind of crystallized like this well, it works really good for recipes like this one where you don't need it to be really runny. You can just kind of put it in there and you're good. Again, raw honey is really important in the springtime because it will actually help you to fight off allergies, allergic reactions to pollen in the spring. I can speak from experience on that. I have tried it now for a couple of years and it works really well. You don't need uh, uh, what is it, Benadryl or some kind of uh, Sudafed or whatever allergy in the sinus and the cold and whatever else that they market the, that toxic junk as. You don't need that stuff. So, okay, so there we have that. So far, now we need to get some yogurt. We actually like to put yogurt in ours, our applesauce, because it makes it a little bit creamier and uh, tastes really good. So what we use is an organic um, whole milk 
plain yogurt. Do not get vanilla. Okay, they, they sneak in a lot of sugar into the vanilla yogurt. I do not recommend getting vanilla. We used to do that and um, it tasted really good, but it's because of the sugar in it. Right. So, and you just want to put it right in there. This one's just about empty. So we'll just empty it out in here quick. And of course with yogurt you're getting a lot of good probiotics, a good, good healthy bacteria that your stomach needs for digestion. So very important to have probiotics in your diet. And uh, if you take anything with um, antibiotics by the way, antibiotic laced meats or things like that, it'll actually kill a lot of your healthy gut bacteria. Um, that's why you want to stay away from meat that has antibiotics in it. And antibiotics too for prescribed from a doctor. You want right. to stay away from that. Now in here, I'll get out some of our apples and secret ingredients. Oh boy. This is what makes it really good. Now this here is, uh, I think these are primarily these are wild red raspberries, which we picked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to say some things about wild edibles here in just a minute or two, but um, we picked these. They they literally grow like weeds. You can just pick, you know, buckets of these things. Um, they're they're all over the place. Um, I'll talk more about wild edibles, but uh, this again, it really really gives it a very very neat flavor. <clears throat> we freeze them. These were picked last summer. Uh, didn't just bust my knuckles there. <laughs> Looks kind of bad, but, um, but we just freeze them up and then they last. Uh, don't try to preserve your berries with, um, you know, turning them into jelly or something because you're putting sugar in with them and destroying the nutritional benefits. And they're, they're perfectly sweet and fine by themselves. Right. You put sugar with them and then you ruin them is how that works. But you just want to ruin your health with lots of sugar. Yep. But the dentist will love you. Yes. You know, you'll have plenty of, uh, cavities and things. Um, and plenty of dollar signs in your mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, put in some of those. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and finish these. Uh -oh, no more berries. Okay, I'll, I won't finish them. I've been voted down. These here are actually uh, apples. And you'll notice that they're just little small pieces. The reason being, hold on, the reason being is because um, they're wild apples. So they don't grow as big as the big uh, commercially grown type or whatever else, but they're, they taste just as good as regular apples. And the big apples, I should say, not regular, but store-bought apples. They actually taste better in many cases. Yes. Go ahead, put some in. And um, Daddy's more nutritious for you. Apple. Yep. And it's it, interesting. Go ahead and put some in. I gotta wash my hands off. I, I, the interesting thing about it is that up here in our area, these wild apples grow everywhere. I mean, they're just all over the place. Back up a little bit, please. I'm gonna dry my hands off here. Um, and people just don't even pick them. I mean, you can ride the ATV trails up here and there's apples laying on the ground. People are smashing them. Keep putting them in. And, you know, people don't even think about it. And apples are incredibly good for you. And, you know, there's a lot of things I could say about that. The whole thing of apples and, and whatever else, wild apples. But my point is here, I've heard a lot of people and they'll say, Oh, I just can't afford organic food. I just can't. It's just too expensive. I can't mm -hmm. afford it. Well, let me just explain a few things there. Um, God has created a huge system of health out there in nature. And it's free. You can go to parks. You can go out just along the road. I mean, literally stuff grows like weeds. Keep putting some in, please. Um, and it's just everywhere. And it's incredibly healthy. Like I said, it's free. You just have to go spend some time picking it. And it tastes great. It's really, really good. Uh, I mean, I grew up picking wild berries and wild edibles and things. And, 
you know, some of the best memories of my life were picking wild edibles. Every year we did that. And my mom and, would pick uh, elderberries from the ditches on along the roadside. Yep. Out where I lived in Iowa. And you know, you say, well, I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't know how to identify them. Well, you can buy so many different books. I mean, here's one, um, Peterson Field Guide, Wild Edible Plants. And it's not just, you know, sweet things like berries and apples and all kinds of stuff like that. There's mushrooms, there's... Blueberries. There's, well, uh, that's the sweet thing. I'm oh. talking about uh, um, dandelion root. Is It's a great substitute for, for uh, coffee. Um, here's actually some tea that we bought. Or organic roasted dandelion, dandelion root. It literally, literally grows like weeds, as they say. Mm -hmm. And tremendous. I mean, it tastes great. The chaga uh, tea that I talked about in another video. Chaga grows wild if you live in a northern environment. Um, there's there's so much that God has provided out there in nature. You can forage for wild edibles. And so don't don't complain and say, oh, I can't afford organic foods. Well, then go out and pick them. Okay, and they're not even just organic out there in nature. They're, they're heirloom, they're wild. Okay, it's it, God grew those things for you to make you healthy. So, you know, I just, I get sick and tired of hearing Christians whining and complaining about, I can't afford this stuff or whatever else. Um, and, th and then they'll balk at going out and picking what God grows out in nature. Here's a book on edible and medicinal mushrooms. Again, up here in, for the New England states. Even books like these, National Audubon Society Field Guide to the Mid-Atlantic and New England states, even things like these, they will literally show plants and they'll show that this is edible and this is, it, it, you know, blooms. They'll tell you what time that the, the berries come out and everything else. Even field guides like that that aren't even about medicinal plants and whatever else. Here's a National Audubon Society field guide to North American wildflowers. Again, showing you a lot of the herbs and things in here. Beautifully illustrated. You know, you can, you can go through and, and get one of these guides, go out, and you're enjoying God's creation. Mm -hmm. You know, again... Uh, well, I'd rather just sit around and, and watch TV and play video games or something. Um, who cares about the wild edible stuff? I'll make fun of that. Oh, well, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Here's a book on superfoods, okay? I talked about his book on uh, the chaga as well. The information's out there, in other words. So you have really no excuse to say, well, oh, I can't afford, uh, uh, you know, really good food and whatever else. I'm just going to eat junk food. Well, then don't complain when you get sick. Don't say, oh, please pray for me. I'm really sick and I can't seem to get better. Amen. Okay? Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, the Bible says. Amen. So, you know, I just... <laughs> little pet peeve of mine. I, I was blessed to have a, a grandfather on my mother's side that uh, he was an expert in wild edibles and things, and, and he taught me a lot of that stuff growing up. And I thank the Lord for that heritage that I had. It was It was great. So now what we do is we're going to put this on here, we're going to put on some hearing protection, and we're going to blend this up and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Go ahead, turn it on. I'll do the front. Good. it for just a minute here. You want it to um, be kind of a thicker, more like a traditional applesauce. Come in here. It's almost ice cream at this point because of the frozen apples and the frozen berries, but it's you can see how sticky it is there. It's like an ice cream. And you can leave it at that if you want that. It really tastes good in the summertime. Um, if you want it a little bit thinner, you just keep stirring it. It's just that simple. Um, so we're going to stir it just a little bit longer, or put it on there just a little bit longer so it, it blends it a little bit smoother. 
an anxious taste tester over here. But let's put this back on and we'll make it a little bit smoother. Now you can see it's a lot more runny. It's real smooth. So, take our hearing protection off here. And, uh, there you go. Now what we'll do, I'll take a little, this little glass here and I'll show you what it looks like. You can actually pour a little bit out into this. It's a little bit thick yet, but kind of like the consistency of a milkshake. Let me get better lighting here just a minute. But there you go. Uh, nice raw applesauce. Um, a lot of people think again that you have to have, um, you know, you take your apples and you cook them, and, and when they get soft and mushy, then you put them through a strainer and depending on the, the size of the, the grate on the strainer, you know, you can get thicker, chunkier applesauce or smoother applesauce, whatever else. But the problem is you're cooking the apples, okay? And you're destroying a lot of nutrition when you do that. Um, and then they I, add sugar to it to sweeten yeah, it because lot, it tastes bad. Exactly, a lot of people put sugar. I remember my grandmother actually used to put, she'd take red cinnamon uh, candy and put it in and the applesauce would come out looking almost like this dark red but it was just ridiculously sweet and cinnamony and all this stuff that's <laughs> how my well, mom still does it yeah you might as well not even eat it at that point in time it's just become toxic this is completely raw the apples we picked them off the tree washed them uh, cut them up stick them in here ground up it's like eating raw apples um, the berries, same thing. And of course, all the superfoods and everything else. This stuff, again, uh, there's been times I've been feeling really sick, getting a fever, or cold, whatever else, headaches, and I'll make some of this, drink it, and I'm better in almost no time at all. And you feel great. Um, I mean, if you if you want to eat your junk food and whatever else and feel like garbage all the time and complain, complain and whine and, and moan and groan because you feel terrible, well, that's you know your thing whatever but uh, I did that stuff for years and years and years uh, over 30 years of my life was spent with junk food uh, it's not worth it and if you're saved God can show you truth and he can show you truth through books like this even if you live in the city okay you can still take some trips out to the country occasionally and pick some wild edibles all right uh, there's farmers markets and things in a lot of the big cities where people bring in uh, berries that were picked and whatever else there's things that you can do okay um, and I'd recommend if you're living in the city by the way to get out into the country okay because there you're going to be able to forage for foods that God makes and grows out there and wild edibles are the pinnacle of natural health there's nothing better than wild edibles um, anything that's, that's grown even the best farming practices it's still a farm you're still not getting the nutrients from wild soil uh, again, depleted nutrients in the soil is another big issue. A lot of farms, they don't let the land rest like the Bible says to. And they just plant crops every year, every year, every year, and the soil, the nutrients are depleted out of there. You go out into the wild and you pick 
uh, wild edibles, you forage for wild foods, much higher nutrition. So, Just don't bring New York City with you when you move out to the country. Yeah, don't think you have to have all the city of conveniences and everything else. So, do we have a taste tester here? Guess what? What do plate boys say? Please. Okay. Tell us what it's like. Get your nose in it. Did you forget to pray for it? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just I just wanted to show a little bit there on video. We're gonna we're gonna stop the video now. We're gonna pray. And we're gonna have a little bit and have some more with our breakfast this morning, um, which will be a meal of garlic chicken, wild rice, and shiitake mushrooms. So that's gonna be it. We'll see you in the next video.